Hello friends, once again welcome to the automation revolution. In this video, we will learn about HMI Internet of Things or web server. So from uh, internet, uh, phone or any uh, tablets, we can access HMI hardware as well as we can access the data of screen. We can also control and monitor uh, HMI screen uh, from the web server or uh, semantic uh, WinCC client application. So now we'll uh, start from uh, first. You can see uh, here we have Siemens TI uh, portal software and uh, I have configured uh, HMI, so this HMI is uh, Siemens uh, HMI TP700 comfort panel and uh, I have also taken uh, Siemens PLC H7300 and you can see uh, we have taken uh, two uh, screens for this uh, animation uh, we have taken uh, start and stop push button and uh, one motor and in second screen uh, for demonstration I have taken uh, one slider as well as uh, one gauge for uh, uh, showing the animations how we can uh, configure in smart application so first uh, you need to go for uh, device configuration and uh, the set IP address for the HMI and PLC now uh, we will go for this runtime settings and uh, from this runtime settings we need to activate uh, remote control as well as uh, this web server so you can see here uh, we need to make this checkbox uh, on and uh, after making uh, these settings, we will uh, download this hardware, means we will configure this HMI panel. So now, uh, this web server will be activated on the HMI screen. For more details, how we can uh, take this different animation object and uh, we can make animations. So pre uh, see your previous video, so we will get uh, how we can take PLC and uh, HMI communication uh, for different objects. Now uh, after uh, downloading this web server in HMI hardware, we will uh, go in HMI uh, panel and we will make one settings for web server activation. So now uh, here we have a uh, semantic HMI panel TP700 comfort and uh, you can see we have taken uh, start and stop push button and uh, one motor animation here. Now uh, we will go for uh, some setting options uh, to activate the web server so here uh, downside we have button uh, to navigate in control panel so you can see here this this is the button so now we are in control panel and uh, here one option is there settings so we will go for the settings and in settings uh, we have option WinCC uh, internet settings so now i will open that settings and you can see here uh, we are getting different option so after activating web servers we are getting two options web server and uh, remote so from there uh, we will go for uh, the remote option so i will just click on uh, remote button and here we are getting three options change the setting start and stop so first uh, we will assign uh, password to login into smart server so just click on change the settings and uh, here we need to assign two times password to active the smart server so that uh, I have already given uh, this password 125 and uh, two times we need to enter and then apply and uh, ok so that password will be set in this smart server and uh, acknowledge that and start the smart server so now this uh, smart service and web service already activated in this HMI panel and uh, from this web server uh, we have option user administration so if you want to uh, add another user ID and password so you can uh, uh, create a new user ID and password here so as of now I will uh, make as it is uh, we don't need any administration uh, ID and password now uh, we will uh, switch uh, off this uh, control panel and we will go for this runtime for HMI panel. So here we have uh, HMI screen for runtime. So now uh, in my smartphone I have already uh, downloaded uh, WinCC smart client application you can see and from Google Play Store you can uh, download it's uh, giving you a uh, trial version. So I will open uh, Semantic WinCC smart client and uh, I will accept terms condition here you can enter uh, the password for login so I will login password and uh, here you can see we can add a connection for the HMI so just 
click on this button plus and here you need to uh, enter the IP address as well as uh, uh, name for the HMI so you can give any name so I will uh, give here name HMI TP 700 and uh, I will assign the IP address so right now IP address is 192.168.7.20 so this is the IP address and uh, other thing uh, we don't need to change then save the settings and now you can see uh, this HMI uh, will indicate one green indication there and now click on this button so now you need to enter uh, another password second time to log in in uh, HMI web server and click ok so now you can see uh, we are getting the same access uh, HMI screen in my smartphone now I can uh, make this button start stop you can see here uh, we are getting output and animation will be changed I can stop the button I can navigate the screen you can see uh, the same animation we are getting in smartphone now I can vary analog input I can vary uh, I can write the data so you can see here uh, we are getting output on and in HMI panel also we are getting the animation so this is how you can uh, make a web server active in HMI screen and uh, internet of thing IoT you can uh, configure in HMI panel so thank you very much for watching the video